Having an alternate fishing site is always a good idea on any fishing adventure. Don and I had a trip planned with Vic Bergman of the Crow's Nest Angler to float the Old Man and Castle Rivers at the end of June, but the rivers were too high and dirty to float, so Vic suggested a lake and gave us directions to dipping that lake. It's a well-managed lake with feisty rainbows and lots of aquatic life to add to the size of the fish. The toughest part of the rainbows at dipping that lake is keeping them on. Fly fishing dipping that lake, that's today on this viewer's choice edition of Sport Fishing on the Fly. Fighting fish, eh? Oh, excellent, yeah. Couple of jumps. They coming at me. Oh. <laughs> Little footballs here. Oh, great fight. So what did you snarf him on? That was on a damsel. Yeah, that's all good. Yeah, there's quite a few damsels moving. Moving with the damsel, yeah. You know the, the difference? He's out. You know, I think the difference is too, it got really calm there for a few minutes and there was nothing happening. We got a bit of a wind blowing as soon as you get that little uh -huh. chop in the water. Lots of energy. You know what else you have to do today is a lot of, uh, a lot of weed in the water. So you got to make sure you constantly check your fly. Well, I just dropped my anchor and we're about uh, 11 feet of water. 11 feet? 11 yeah. feet right here. Go. Yeah. Fly out right in the corner of his mouth. Stops wiggling, that is. We get the fly out for him. Get a hold of it, there it is. There's a nice little rainbow. A little fat guy, not real long, but they give you a good fight. And uh, so there's lots of damsels around. Lots of mayflies hatching in close to shore. I'm changing it. I'm going to try some chronomating for a good while. Good idea, got the riffle. Just because that's the kind of guy I am. <laughs> Mr. Chronomid. Yeah, you gotta keep checking your fly because there's lots of stuff in the water. Oh, is there ever. Every cast. Oh, look at that, it. I got one on already. Oh. Whoa, just like that, eh? As soon as you get the riffle. Oh, that's a nice one, yeah. As soon as you get the riffle, and just time to change. It up. Whoa, this feels like a nice size one too. I don't get all tangled in my box here. Yeah, this feels like oh gee. It feels healthy. That was with our little special <laughs> bead head mayfly. Yeah, but, uh, only yeah. because you know why there's been just a ton of mayflies coming up. Yeah, the shallows, big and mayflies shallows. too. And as you can see, it's like a little pond on the prairie, right? It's it's not that big. Yep. And it's got ten pound fish, up to ten pounds. That's what we've heard. Yeah. And well, I mean and that what... comes from a good source. Yeah. That's why the lure of trying to fish it wet and get down to where the big guys might be too. Yeah, that's right. And you know what? We talked to the local guide and what he tells? Big buggers. Yeah. Anything big for the big fish, but I don't know. I like the little flies. Well, I'm going to go a little here, too, to pick off some fish. First. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> he just got off. <laughs> he weeded me. He did, yeah. That was a nice fish. That was good. <laughs> 